What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be very calming. Just me winding down for the day. Um, I have, Daxon is getting ready for bed with Damien. Damien does bath time and bedtime, which I love because after a long day with the baby, I just need my time to decompress. I don't do this every day. Um, this is a, one of the special days. I try to do it once a, once a week because every mom just needs to like wind down after a whole day of mommying. So yeah, and I'm also gonna like give you guys an update on my mental health um, I haven't done an update in a long long time and I'll get into why I haven't really done a lot of updates um, and why I haven't talked a lot about my mental health um, I'm also gonna talk about why I don't I mean I still have my podcast but why I haven't uploaded a new episode in like seven months I think it's been it's been a while since I last uploaded and why we, we've been on like a little bit of a sabbatical and yeah like I'm going to get into all that before we do that I want to thank CVS for sponsoring this video you guys know I've been loving CVS care pass and just all the benefits love the fact that like I know what to expect from CVS and that all the benefits travel with me I just moved and so um having CVS and knowing that like whatever I need is there has been a lifesaver um when I'm trying to figure out a new space a new area a new location all of that um and so this is my mommy my mommy night bag okay everything that I like really want to incorporate into my routine and stuff for tonight is in this CVS Care Pass bag. So, but to start, I have had not really been quiet about my my postpartum hair loss. You guys, I think you guys saw it in a couple videos ago. I'm talking about how I've been like losing hair. It's very normal, but I've been using this Anomaly hair and scalp oil. Um, I really have been wanting to keep my hair very hydrated along with using all of my supplements and vitamins that I use. Keeping my hair hydrated and just moisturized is super important for like hair growth and stuff. And so I love this stuff because it's very lightweight. And even if I go in, like right now I think I'm going to do like a, um, an oil treatment with it and it doesn't leave my hair feeling heavy or greasy or oily it's a very lightweight product um, and so yeah I just put some into my scalp and along my my hair my hair is damp I just got out of the shower and so I had a nice long shower in there and then I'm just gonna kind of do like I said do a little oil treatment with it and wrap it up at the top do a little top knot here while we go into the rest of our mommy night and then also before i get into like the whole mental health catch up and stuff like that like tonight is that little little pamper of myself so i'm going to paint my nails find my nail color it was in my drawer so i'm gonna use opi in nature strong nail polish in the color knowledge is flower i haven't found a nail technician here and so i um i used to paint my nails all the time especially during like 2020 and all that stuff um i find it very relaxing and very just therapeutic so i'm gonna paint my nails there i've been pretty stressed out so i like i'm a, I'm a stress fighter so i'm gonna do my best to paint them as best as i can and then i'm also going to watch a movie and kind of chill out in bed and this is my favorite snack popcorn snack to snack on when i'm just chilling watching a movie it gets a guilt-free snack this is the gold emblem abound white cheddar um if you love white cheddar popcorn you're gonna love this like i said it's guilt-free it's only 140 calories per two and a half cups it's delicious like i could you not and i know i know when you be walking through cbs you see this popcorn in the aisles i see it everywhere every time i go i see it and i just had to Grab it up. Water here in Arizona is very, very like drying. Um, and so we have a filter, but I still am finding like my skin is super, super dry, even more so than when I was in the Bay. So I'm, I got the CVS Health um, Dry Skin Treatment Hand Lotion. So once I go through my skincare routine and all that stuff, I'm gonna add this at the end to really just moisturize my hands. So with things like this dry skin therapy um, treatment, you can get 20% off of this because it's a CVS Health brand and also Live Better brand. You can get 20% off if you are a CVS Care Pass member. And then also with the rest of these things that I have, you get a $10 um, monthly promotion that you can use towards anything in the store. So buying these, I use my $10 monthly promotion 
to get $10 off and then I use 20% off to get this. It's a win-win, you're saving money. To get CVS Care Pass uh, membership, it's just $5 a month and $48 for the year. Um, I tend to always, whenever with any membership, I tend to always just buy the year membership just so I can like, so I don't have to worry about it again and I know that I'm good for the rest of the year. Um, and if you're like me and you're a busy mom and you just don't have a lot of time, knowing that you can even order your stuff online, you get free shipping, one to two day shipping um, for anything at CVS, that's very convenient and it's very beneficial to just the constant movement of life. So if you guys wanna check it out and use some of the benefits, my favorite being, the, I think my favorite being the 20% off the CVS health brand and Live Better brand. A lot of stuff that you need, especially in like pharmacy and like vitamins and stuff like that, Live Better brand and CVS health brand have that and you can save 20% off. So anyways, if you wanna check it out um, and become a CVS Care Pass member, then you can click the description box below. There's a link there. It'll send you right where you need to go and you'll be all set. Okay, so, Let's go into skincare slash mental health update. Um, I've already washed my face in the shower, so I'm just gonna add some toner. So, becoming a mom has been quite a lot. Uh, if you don't know, I think I did post, I did have some, a couple podcasts about like my initial thoughts on motherhood and my new journey into motherhood. And I talk a lot about how it was just really rough for me. Long story short, like the first three months of Dax's life, I did not enjoy it. I was not happy. I was surviving. And a lot of that kind of contributed to the breastfeeding process. And that again, it's a whole other story. But yeah, like it was just, it was just a lot. And then when I started to finally like it, I think he was around like three months old. I, I'm going to do a couple of different masks today. I'm going to do a a purifying mask and a moisturizing mask because again my skin is dry anyways so i finally started enjoying it daxon was i don't know four months old i just felt like i had missed out on so much of his life and so like that guilt was really getting to me and i didn't want to miss out on anything so i really do think i started like abandoning a lot of other of my responsibilities because obviously daxon's like my number one responsibility but i have other responsibilities i have a job i have a husband i have family i have dogs, I have a house to take care of, I have so many other responsibilities that like I just cared more about like making up the time that I lost with Daxon and even though like I loved being I love being a mom and like I couldn't imagine my life without him, I still don't know how to balance all of it and I still don't know how to like how to just live my life if that makes sense I don't know it's the first time I've actually been like talking about it out loud and I try to talk about it out loud but it's still really hard for me to put into words about how I still don't know it's just my identity has changed again and the first time my identity changed I had graduated from college stopped playing volleyball and did not know what the F I wanted to do, who the F I wanted to be. And that was really scary. And I now, I don't think I ever really got over that. I think when I got married, um, it helped. And then when I got pregnant, I was in like the best mental state of mind because I always, went, always wanted to get pregnant and had, and we had been through that long journey of trying to get pregnant, but it's just a different, it's the biggest life altering thing that anyone could ever go through. And for some people, not everyone, not everyone. And I always am very wary about talking about motherhood and my experience with motherhood I'm out loud because people are like oh my gosh I'm so scared or like this is my biggest fear and I don't think there's, there's not anything to really be afraid of it's just challenges like life throws you challenges and we have to deal with them we have to work through them and get through them but I'm just speaking about mine because when it helps and I think helps me and I hopefully will help someone else just it's something to be afraid of it's just challenging but we're here and we're, we're making it work as best as we can so anyways while I was going through the really really hard postpartum months I still had the podcast going and before I had Daxon we had pre-recorded so many episodes that I didn't have to worry about like getting on like I was doing four three to four um, recordings a week which is a lot like if you have a podcast especially talking about mental health like that can be a lot on like your mental and so I was really busting my butt and the, the company that I was working with to put out my podcasts were telling me that, that my numbers weren't doing um, that great and we needed to do more. So this is after I had Dax and then the episodes that we had already pre-recorded just didn't, weren't good enough. Um, and so I was having to continue to record new episodes and like stress about getting good guests on. Um, I don't know why the podcast, like I'm, I'm not, I actually haven't said this in public either, but I don't know why the podcast didn't do as well as like 
they wanted it to do i thought it was doing well like i i personally thought like the numbers that we were doing were were good um especially for like the first six months right i didn't even go i hadn't even gone a year before you know it was kind of like mm, it's not where it needs to be at and so that was kind of that was really rough for me as well but i thought the numbers were okay but i just thought that it was really 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 bad timing on all ends to put like Sadal, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to you need to record this, you need to record with someone being a month and a month postpartum. Like I think six weeks I, I gave myself six weeks of maternity leave, which was number one, a mistake and maternity leave in America in general. Like we need to talk about that at some point. But six weeks postpartum was just not enough time for me personally to just get back into the swing of what I do. Like my job revolves around my life. So it's not a nor like a normal nine to five job where someone else is going and they're working for a company and they don't have to think about their lives every day or they don't have to produce happy content um, every day for their for people to watch like i just was not happy i was not in a good space and so going back to work and being a full-time content creator about my life and my lifestyle i wasn't i wasn't prepared um mentally to get any feedback and even to this day like i think i'm a completely different person when it comes to sharing i'm i'm more in that space right now but i'm a completely different person when it comes to sharing what i'm going through or sharing my life because i just don't take comments like mean comments like I used to. I used to be able just to like wipe it off or like ignore it. I cannot do that anymore. I cannot ignore it. Um, it really does get to me. And so therefore I just like stopped posting that much, you know? And so yeah, we decided that I should just, I decided actually, I decided that you know what? I can't give 110% to the podcast because one, because of what was being asked, asked of me and the and considering the position that I was in as far as being a new mom and really, really struggling, like it's hard to explain that to people who are just trying to do their jobs. Um, and like Grace wasn't really good. I did, I felt like Grace wasn't really given to me and I needed, and if Grace wasn't given to me by someone else, I have to give myself grace. Like I can't expect someone to give me grace if I'm not giving my, myself grace. Um, and so I, and I just want to give a 110% to everything that I do. Um, especially the podcast like that was the one I was like my baby and so I decided to because the, the numbers weren't where they needed to be and because I couldn't really record eight different episodes a week <laughs> um, I just I decided to, to take it some time off people are asking me like when's the podcast coming back? when's the podcast, podcast coming back I don't know when it's coming back because I don't really know what to talk about and I'm also like at being honest like like I said I don't take criticism very well or I don't take negativity very well um, I have changed so much about my life and what I put into my life and what what I let affect my life like if there's any kind of negativity I'm at the phase of like I just avoid it <laughs> I'm a big avoider right now and it's been in the public as well now that I could talk to you guys kind of about it. I'm not going to get into the gritty because that's nobody's business but like my parents got divorced I was going through a lot pandemic Parents were divorcing, going through fertility issues. So things for me have been better. I'm, I feel like I'm just, like I said, the whole idea of me not being able to take certain things that strangers I don't know um, are giving at me. Like I really do try to be a good person. I don't talk about anybody on social media. Like when people say terrible things to me on social media, I just, I use, I, I laugh even though it, I, it it's rough for me right now it's getting better but even though it's rough for me i i still laugh at like these are people that, people that don't know me they don't they don't know me but also i would never think to like go on someone's social media page and just trash them because of something that i don't agree with and like that will never <laughs> ever make sense to me but until i'm able to deal with that because i want to deal with it i want to get back to how i used to be when sh and sharing and not just just not giving up f about what anyone has to say what anyone feels just live my life share what i want to share share what i don't want to share post i want to post post what i don't want to post like until i'm able to get to that which i am working on it's just going to be it's just it's just it's just going to be a journey for me and so yeah i think like when moving to arizona and changing my environment not like that my environment was bad in the bay like i actually finally was feeling comfortable and happy with 
who where I was, the friends that I had, the support system I had, like I was feeling very comfortable with that. Having a change of scenery is still very kind of it's, it's motivating in a sense where like I can not like reinvent myself, but I can just kind of start over at some point. It's all just like kind of new. Um, it's my first time not having like family around and that's a challenge in itself, but it's very motivating and, and I'm just excited for what's to come in that sense. When it comes to the podcast, I don't know when I'm gonna come back. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Yeah, I just, I don't, but I, I do hear you guys and I do hear people asking like, when are you coming back? Like, we miss it, we, you've helped me so much. And so I hear you and I'm with you and I'll do my best. But where I'm at mentally to kind of round this all up is I'm trying to find peace. I'm trying to find just happiness in where I'm at. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm obsessed with my family. I love my son. I love my husband. I feel very supported in everything that we do. I, I think like in, when it comes to parenthood, I have like the best partner in the world. He is so supportive. He's so involved. He gives so much of himself. Um, even after like he works, he works so so hard and yet he'll come home and he'll hang out with Daxon he'll play with Daxon he'll help me he'll watch Daxon if I need to do something he'll I don't know whatever I ask or whatever you know I need from him regarding like some time for me he does it and not because he feels like he has to but because he wants to I never take that for granted so yeah I don't know I just I'm getting there day by day um, it's a, it's a, it's a balance. I stopped going to therapy. I did have a therapist, a postpartum therapist. Um, but when things started going a little bit better for me in the postpartum area, I just felt like I didn't really need her anymore. So I stopped going to therapy. I go on and off. You can do that. It's okay. Like therapy can it can be preventative. And kind of just stay in tune with your feelings. And I used to do that too. I think everybody's different. Everyone goes through different phases of life. But yeah. I don't know, I, I feel mentally I'm like on a scale of zero unwell to 100 very well. I'm like 60, I think my body, um, I'm getting my body together, I gained weight, I just don't like the way I feel and that's also contributed to my mental health. But I'm taking control of that, I'm going to the gym, I'm just feeling very motivated to get back, to get back where I want to be. When it comes to physical health and, and weight and all that kind of stuff, it really just depends on how you feel it doesn't matter about what society thinks or whatever like your reasons for doing what you want to do from losing weight gaining weight staying the same whatever you want to do is solely dependent on how you feel so do not let anyone pressure you do not let society pressure you do not let your your partner pressure you none of that like however you feel is what matters so i just want to just reiterate that and to say that and want you to say that over and over again if you're struggling with that as well i have been struggling with it very like a lot <laughs> it's it has you know affected my mental health but the fact that i'm doing things to help it it's making me feel a little bit better you know it doesn't it's not gonna happen in a day it really is like something i have to work on because it's not easy i feel like when you're doing something for yourself it makes it all so so worth it so yeah i hope that's a good update for you guys um if you guys want to know anything else about how i'm feeling or how i'm handling certain things or whatever specifics you can answer them in, in the comments below and i'll try to get back to you and answer all your all of your questions because i know that um, and I, know, I know i'm not alone in this and i know that there are some moms out there watching i feel the exact same way that i do so yeah, all right, I'm gonna finish up my skincare and then we'll come back, paint my nails, and just enjoy the rest of our night, okay?
Thank <laughs> you.